Alrighty, I'm gonna do another power wash uh, really quick here. I uh, got some time. I just want to show some sidewalk. It's a friend of mine's house, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Um, <clears throat> just do the sidewalk out here. It's kind of a drizzly day, so nothing to do. This is the uh, attachment that I use. Um, this is basically just a, uh, a round disc that spins around, as you can see. Don't let that fool you. That simple design works well on the concrete, and you don't have to worry about the back and forth lines. And it works better, believe it or not, because it's closer to the concrete. It's only like this far off the concrete, so you know, you're not going to get that good of a job using it by hand going back and forth. And it's faster. Um, it also doesn't splash up everywhere, which is nice. Now I got the, um, the Pro Line. Uh, what is this? The, uh, Alright, so it's the 535V1 Pro. It's a 5035 feed line Pro and it has the 18 horsepower Vanguard engine on it. Um, so it's plenty of power. This is a big overdone machine. You don't need all this, but it has it. actually has a heater on here, which turn that on and it comes on. Um, currently, at the time, it's not working and I don't know why. But this is your valve pressure. Um, this is your water pressure right there. This is your heat temperature. It tells you the temperature of it in uh, Fahrenheit. And over here is where you're setting it off at. So you know so you know if it's getting hot or not, it's not working. So I'm gonna try it again, see if it comes on. This is your adjuster right here. This adjusts your PSI. Um, I've only been able to get this thing to go up to about 3,000 PSI, even though that, that speedometer thing goes up to 7,000. Um, I don't know, but it's got a lot of power to push it through 200 feet of hose, so that's a big difference, you know. So that's what I have on here. I have 200 feet of hose. It has an applicator, but you can only use 50 foot of hose, which is stupid. I don't understand why. So I have a nozzle applicator. I'm not going to do any application on this. I might just drop a little bit of um, concrete cleaner on it, but um, I use driveway cleaner. Um, I might not use it on here at all because I don't really need to. But I'm going to go ahead and get this out, start this up, show you how it works. I like to use this to get it started because I haven't started it up yet, but pretty simple. You choke it, and uh, you don't have to pull the trigger on this one unless, it, unless it's binding up. So, so here we go. power washers you cannot change this without turning the machine off so you turn the machine off relieve the pressure on the water now these need I need to replace these they're not that great I don't really have to soak the concrete because it's raining. So, but you can turn this off to the side to get some water coming out, or even lifting it up, and that helps to uh, just blow the water around like a water fan. That helps get your debris out of the way. So.
there you go. So there you go, you can see the difference between how easy it works. I don't like the results of that, so I'm going to put down some cleaner. This has got some heavy mold in here. And this is a public sidewalk, it's hooked to the house, but I want to do this really bad because of the trailer tracks going back and forth through here. Just something to do. So I'm going to put the chemical down. Lift it out a lot better. As you can see, park over there if you can, because I want to clean this up. All right, so this is the first time doing a public sidewalk. So as you can see, there's a lot of dirt in here. I ended up using the chemical. Um, after you get done, you get a lot of water that's standing. It's dirt that keeps getting pulled out of the cracks, and it looks like it's not even clean. So I pick it up and use it like a water. I need to get one of them water pushers. That's going to be the next thing I'm going to get. Uh, and you can see, this is all the stuff that's it's just sitting on top. I'm blowing this out just using that because I don't want to push it. I don't want to put any lines in the ground. I might get this stick out. I'm not sure if I get to be the gun. So you can see over here, two different sides. You can see, you know, this, that's a huge difference. I can go all the way up this whole, the whole neighborhood. So... Basically, what I end up doing is stopping at the stopping at the crack, 
And then what I'll do is I'll pick it up and I'll feather it out so it doesn't look like it stopped and started. So I'll just kind of like wedge into the next, um, like a like a spray paint, like when you're doing body work, just feathering it in, fading it into there's we're fading it into the next concrete. Or you can just stop it. You don't want to leave circles like this. So obviously you got to keep going, but you don't want to leave a circle like that. It's just a, that's just as bad as leaving lines. So as you can see, that's that's it right there. I'm not going to, I don't have time to film the whole thing, so what I'll do is I'll just take some pictures when it's done and put it back on here. So, there you go.